What up, Greater Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com and the Press Telegram. It's Mike, and the CIF Championship highlight is brought to you by Naples Roof Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. Speaking of big events, St. Joseph Glendora, the Division Three CIF Championship, big rowdy crowds on hands for both teams. St. Joseph has a, a pretty big team, and they want some really big rings. Glendora balling in the first set. The Tartans had not lost a set so far this playoffs. Jesters led 15-10, but Marissa Montoya and the Tartans come roaring back. A couple of Jesters admitted after the match the student section bothered them a little bit at first. Obviously, two D3 teams not necessarily used to a huge crowd like this one. Saints come back and tie it. Jesters come back and tie it, excuse me, but three straight aces from Cassidy Marshman are going to give it to the Tartans. She was nails was the libero from the back line. Obviously, that's got the Glendora student section super into this one, and it's going to end on an over-the-line call here. Jester's down 1-0 again. Glendora, uh, perfect. All sweep so far through the playoffs, so maybe a little bit of concern if you were wearing orange at this point as it goes 25-20 to Glendora. But you thought St. Joseph was going to go out like that? Surely you jest, my friend. <laughs> Obviously, these jesters are here for a reason. They were the one seed, one seed for a reason. It is Mike Check 1 2 1 2. Mike Check 1 2. The Sualua Pepe show. She's Sua Ludicrous like Chris Bridges. She brings the hammer like no other in this division. A Division 1 swing in the Division 3 bracket. Pretty nice. Then the block got involved. Here's Kate Baldwin and Olivia Maxwell. And then it's going to be the setter, Alexa Gallegos, and Maxwell again stuffing it back and this second set was all St. Joseph, Gallegos, Martha Padilla, the Bosco football team making up the St. Joseph student section. They were getting into it. Our guy Tavita Mo leading it over there and it's lucky number seven, the long lost Baldwin sister. Ten kills for Baldwin but obviously number 12, Sualua, do it to ya with the big swing or the dink. 25 to 12, St. Joseph in the second set. And the second verse, same as the first. All jesters in the third set. Pepe says it's hammer time. as she dropped it big time on the Tartans. These points are almost worth more than just one because it's so demoralizing. You see the student section just kind of standing there shocked when you see the ball flying off that hard from the heavy swing of Pepe. And then Padilla, the bionic woman, 10 kills and 3 blocks while wearing that big bulky knee brace. A great match from her. You see here the Tartans block very concerned with Pepe's side of the net. That makes it easier for players like Kiera Hurley to get a clean swing at things. Hurley had 7 kills in the match. Baldwin also 10 kills. So Gallegos did a great job spreading the ball around and utilizing her big weapon in Pepe. It's 25-9 in set 3 for St. Joseph. Pepe, 26 kills, 26 digs. The Tartans only had 33 kills as a team. A huge match from the junior. Gallegos set a very nice match, some nifty plays like that. The behind the back dump kill. Team hit 213. Gallegos had five kills as well. She knew when to dump it. Five kills on 10 attempts. And here Padilla is going to polish it off. Winner, winner, royal court dinner as the Jesters become the queens of the CIF. A phenomenal match for St. Joseph and the entire St. Joseph community as you see the uh, loud and rowdy student section and the Bosco football team. The, uh, you know, the two schools obviously joined at the hip there. A pretty special night for these players and all of their family and friends. They're not done yet, though. As uh, you are watching this, the CIF state brackets are probably just moments away from coming out. You can follow us on Twitter at, at PT Gazette Sports to find out where St. Joseph will be next week. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, including Papa Lucci's, a great place to eat down on 2nd Street. We've got plenty more volleyball action to come. We've got two CIF champs from the local area and the state playoffs still to come.